Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Glee TV. Uh, today well, I'm just going to tell you about the love of trees, uh, ornamental and fruit trees that is, that have just come in over the weekend. Uh, for a start to my right here we've got a wonderful one which has just come in for the first time. Uh, this is called Prunus Frilly Frock. Now this is a, a flowering cherry that flowers very beautiful with pale pink uh, but also has these lovely trailing lime green and dark green leaves which really contrast nicely. And as you can probably just see on some of these leaves they've got just a bit of uh, autumn colour starting. They'll really turn that sort of like bronze red with the margin you can still see there. So that's a real beauty, it's, it's a real hot pick for this year. Okay, on my left here, this is one we had for the first time last year. This is a, a sorbus or rowan mountain ash called Sorbus Olympic Flame. Now the beauty of this one, it's got really long date leaves and uh, they turn beautifully orange red in the autumn. Just about to start really, but uh, they also have some fantastic bright big red berries there. Uh, now that's a real good tree, I think lots of people are going to want that. Uh, the last one I put an ornamental tree on to show you is just that behind here. This is showing all its awesome colour beautifully now. That's a, a selection of Acer. Uh, it's called Brandy Wine. It's a little bit of like deep reddy brown colour goes, but you can see there's all sorts of the autumn colour spectrum in there. So that's the autumn, uh, that's the ornamental trees I wanted to show you. Okay, now so over to fruiting trees. Uh, I'm going to show you some apples, some varieties of apples we've just had in. Now naturally there's lots more choice here than the ones I'm going to show you, but these are some of the best ones uh, we've just had in. Okay, firstly, this is uh, red falsta. You can see the fruit of the apple on the, um, on the label there. This is a great all-round eating apple. It's good if you've just got space for one apple tree, because as many of you know, Apples often need pollinators to produce fruit, so that means you need two, two uh, plant apple, apple trees. Uh, this one is subversal, so it will produce fruit on its own, so that's great for small gum. And we do that in very various sizes, as we do all the apples, really. Okay, this one here is very popular, brownie seedling. That's your normal cooking apple. You can see on the back, it's the lovely apples on this one. We've also got the variety called Bramley 20. Now that's a new variety, newer variety, that is the same apple as the Bramley, but it's 20% less of so that's great for a sweet garden. Right, I'll show you one of the one over here. Right, again, this one was here for the first time last year. This is Apple Christmas Pippin. This is... Um, a better variety of Cox's orange pippin, so it's a very similar apple taste, but it does well in much better areas. Cox could be slightly different, slightly difficult in, in a northern area. So if you want one that will perform well, and it has to be said, it's great for a Christmas present if you've got someone who's got the, the space for it. We've got uh, Christmas pippin apples up here in various different sizes. We've got. It's values and your normal size apple trees which is going to freeze with bit large trees. We've also got some nice little patios. There you go, that's a little patio tree. You can keep that in a, in a big pot uh, on the patio or you can just plant it on the ground. It'll stay reasonably small and give you a lovely crop of apples next year. So if you want to see even more of our uh, great range of trees, uh, both fruity and ornamental, just come down and speak to me. Um, Oh, and just just realise that this is the best time really to plant your trees. Autumn is great because it's not too cold, not too hot. It's perfect time for planting. Okay, that's it for me.